I created a documentary. And it was fun as hell. But it was also quite challenging. Here are some things that I learned. Hey everyone, welcome in. My name is Gherkin and I'm a documentary filmmaker from Kansas City, Missouri. If you haven't seen it already, I created my very first documentary ever a few weeks ago and the link's in the description box. Still don't have cards. I'm super proud of the result, but there are some things that I learned making this doc that I would not have learned otherwise. And I'm here to share those with you today. And I'm here to share those with you today. <laughs> Sound design is something that I am really bad at. Sound design is one of the most important aspects to your film. And in documentary, it can make your film here or here. It's not as important as lighting, but it is one of the most important parts of post-production. You can color the film like shit, and if your sound design is bad, everybody's gonna know. Lighting will make or break your film. Before filming any of the film, I watched at least 20 videos on lighting on a budget. I'm the type of person who loves using the light available to me, natural light, windows, whatever, but sometimes you can't do that. I don't have the fanciest lights or even ones that change colors, so I had to use what I could to light the film the way that I wanted to. Film more than you need. The interview scene was over half an hour long and I only used about like seven minutes of it. There are scenes I cut out entirely and shots I definitely did not use. That's because when I was filming, I was playing it as safe as possible. So that way when I got back into the editing room, I had a ton of options and I could use exactly what I wanted and when I wanted and I had no worry and no fear of running out of footage. Scenes give your film some diversity. The day before I started filming, I saw a video by the one and only Mark Bone. <laughs> and he said that if you want to make your film more dynamic, you need scenes. So the day before we went out, I created some scenes. I had this I added the scene where she was low and I added the scene where she is talking about her blog and I think they helped the film tremendously. You don't have to end a documentary the way that you would end a wedding film. Seems really self-explanatory, doesn't it? A documentary tells a story. A wedding video does the same thing but in a slightly different way. All of my wedding videos I edited chronologically. I started with the getting ready, the climax of the film was the first kiss, and the ending is the grand exit. Happens every time. However, a documentary does not necessarily need to be chronologically, unless, of course, you're filming a very specific event and it has a very specific timeline. I had no idea how I wanted to end this film. So I went on YouTube and I watched some docs and I saw the way that they ended their films and then I kind of realized that the ending of the films weren't necessarily chronological. There was no... It was an ending, like it felt like an ending, it wasn't abrupt, but... You can end a documentary any way that you want to. And so that's what I did. I went back and I said, this is how I'm gonna end it. If anyone wants to fight me about it, comments below. Algorithm, baby. <laughs> Bonus tip. Create a mood board and a color palette. When you're lighting, when you're coloring, even the shots that you make, shoes, shoot, whatever. All of it will reference back to that mood board and to that color palette. This was the one, one of the biggest things that I realized, like watching it back, I have 37 different color palettes throughout the entire film. It would have been so much better if I could just stick with lighting certain scenes this way. Like if I was going for like warm tones and then the whole film would be warm tones, earth tones. If I was going for a little bit more cooler tone to make it a little more moody, it would, everything would be blue and, and you know, you have a, a, a little bit of a warm accent in there every now and then, but I didn't do that because I don't know shit about filmmaking. <laughs> when you go to edit your film, it just makes everything much easier because you know exactly what you're gonna color it and exactly what you're gonna do as far as shots go. I didn't do that. <laughs> All right, that's it for this video. If you want to, nope. All right, that's it for this video. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know down below. And if you want to see the full process of making a documentary, I would love to do that as well. I'd love to make another documentary. That would actually be great. Uh, if you like this video, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new here. If you're not, that's fine. I don't judge. I don't know. I'm Gherkin and I'll see you in the next one. Much love, guys. Bye.